I'm looking at some catch basins here in plan in 3D and I've also created a profile run. Now, if we consider one of these catch basins to get it to work hydraulically, the ground elevation is the elevation of the gutter flow line. And that's so that any runoff from a road surface can physically get in to the, the grate or the entrance to the catch basin. However, that elevation for the gutter flow line is obviously not the top elevation of this particular node. So how do we represent this node correctly in a profile model? Well, one way to do it is to use the slice option. And in that case, the 3D model will be sliced and will correctly pick up the top of that structure and draw it in the profile model. However, that results in quite a lot of line work in the profile model. For that reason, quite often the box option is preferred because it just draws a simple representation of the node. However, in this case, the ground elevation is being used for the top of the node. And as we've just seen in the 3D model, the top elevation of the node is actually somewhat higher than that ground elevation. So what we've done is cater for two more situations. If I pick this node here, if we just zoom in, actually, we can see that there's the overall height of the box, and that is higher than the ground elevation. So if I select this node, this node is set up to have a rim elevation, which is higher than the ground elevation. So in this situation, if a node is drawn using the box representation, we'll draw the top of the box to the rim elevation, and then we'll draw a horizontal line to represent the ground elevation. And in this case here, this particular node has got a set out point in its 3D cell. And again, the set out elevation is higher than the ground elevation. So again, we draw the top of the box to the higher elevation and we draw a second horizontal line at the ground elevation.